Well, my boyfriend just got the new PlayStation, and a couple past due letters, and the new Xbox, so... We only see him once a month when he comes in for... supplies. The next generation of video game consoles has arrived and sold out immediately to the Grinch who scalped Christmas. <laughs> That's why when I actually managed to add a PS5 to our cart, the rest of checkout had my boyfriend looking like this. As for getting the Xbox, kids, don't buy an Xbox. Become a YouTuber. And I give you them for free. And I do believe uh, it's a commercial break. This video was sponsored by Squarespace. Microsoft, thank you for thinking of us. And Sony, what is your problem, bro? We almost couldn't make this video about how much better you are than Microsoft. I'm just kidding. Both of these consoles are awesome, especially the one we got for free. But the other one has Demon Souls, so I don't know. It's gonna be a close race on today's very special episode of Girlfriend Reviews. Now ring that bell, cause it's PS5! Versus Xbox Series X. Okay, uh, I'll start right here. What the heck is even that? Xbox Series X? See, I like the PS5 branding because I know it's better than the PS4 by at least one. But Xbox branding has me asking, why so Series X? To answer that question, I should probably just look at how we got here. All right, the original Xbox, known by many as the Xbox One, was obviously followed up by the Xbox Two 360. Well, it's memorable and definitely won't be confused with the Xbox One. Then the next console they released was called the You Gotta Be Kissing My Butt. Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, does Microsoft hate Santa? Getting an Xbox Series S for Christmas instead of an Xbox Series X would be like getting a lump of coal for Christmas instead of the Xbox I wanted, Grandma! So, Xbox loses round one. But moving right along to round 360, let's talk about design. The PS5 is a curvy, inverted Oreo that will look great in the bedroom of a techie teenager aboard the Starship Enterprise. It also sports a confident pop collar, inspiring me to nickname it Tony. Tony! Yeah. Hey. Right. Okay. Hey. Tony. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, That's nice. Uh. Despite being a faux futuristic pretty boy, I honestly admire Tony's bold mold and bright white departure from the DVD player vibe of his predecessors. The problem is, I'm not trying to admire a sexy hunk of plastic in my living room, unless it's Uncle Iroh. Ooh, the law says you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers out there. In the shadow of this colossus is the much less conspicuous Xbox Series X, which will fit and blend into most entertainment centers just as a well-behaved electronic should, neither seen nor heard. That means my personal winner of round 360 is Microsoft for designing an unexceptional rectangle. Okay, enough of the boring stuff. It's time for round T-flops to determine which of these Nintendos has more blast processing and which Nintendo don't. Uh, it would appear that... <laughs> Can't hear you. So the winner of round T flops is. <laughs> round four, the games. Doesn't matter how big your titty flops are if you don't know how to use them. It's all about the games that I get to watch my boyfriend play. And right now, PS5 is clearly in the lead, but with an asterisk we'll address in a minute. First, the PS5 really makes you feel like a console launch. Oh, oh PS5! Next generation! <laughs> It even comes with a free launch title that celebrates PlayStation's history while showcasing the brand new DualSense vibrator with triggers that know just how hard you want it, letting developers simulate players in exciting new ways. My boyfriend said it was like experiencing the Rumble Pack all over again. Turning on the Xbox Series X isn't really that different from turning on our Xbox One X. It's a launch with little fanfare and no familiar faces to accompany on a next-gen adventure. Master Chief was supposed to be at the party, but Halo Infinite was feeling a little Halo impotent. Don't worry, Halo guy. Happens to lots of mascots. You just let us know when you're ready. Meanwhile, Sony invited new installments of Astro, Sackboy, and Spider-Man to the party. Hello! Hey! Don't punch. I've been you know playing, I've been playing like? Demon Souls, so... You know what she looks just like? <laughs> Stop for one second. You know what she looks just like? Stop for one second! As well as many of the same cross-platform characters keeping the Xbox interesting, some of whom are having better performance on PS5. 
For example, Watch Dogs Legion has ray tracing on the PS5, but that isn't possible on the Series X because it thinks we're trying to play an Xbox 360 game on the Xbox One and won't open. Even the Xbox is confused about which freaking Xbox it is. <laughs> but before I get to the main thing that made the PS5 worth it right now for my boyfriend, let's address that asterisk. Xbox is having a slow start in this race, but Microsoft has come out the gate miles ahead of Sony, or any console developer ever, in terms of consumer-friendly practices. Thousands of games that players already paid for across four generations of Xbox are compatible at launch with significant improvements. My boyfriend dug his Red Dead Redemption disc out of the closet it was sitting in for 10 years, inserted it into the newest Xbox, and boom, you're all right, girl. Wow. That's cool, man. I mean, it still looks old as shit, but it's crisp and clean and... Is that from Asia? Is that the lady from The Conjuring? Unfortunately, his PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games will remain in that very same closet, like... I'm limited by the technology of my time. And it was just two months ago that Nintendo released three games everybody already owns for a price tag of $60 on Switch. So Microsoft, thank you for being a friend. Plus, Xbox Game Pass is way better than PS Plus because it has Kinect Disneyland Adventures you can only play with a controller. Wee! Oh! But the simple reason my boyfriend seems to prefer his PS5 is that he can't get his ass kicked in Demon Souls on Xbox. What in the world? Oh, Jesus! For him, it's the game that will define the launch of this generation. Whoa, look at this chain graphics you guys whoa i even got it stuck on the thing and i admit it is some buttery smooth gourmet looking bullshit. so should your boyfriend play the demon souls remake well that's a good question for another time today we're asking should your boyfriend get a ps5 or xbox series x and today the ps5 offers a more exciting hot off the press state-of-the-art console gaming experience with a fancy controller that my boyfriend still can't put down for long don't want to keep tony waiting hey you got a problem with tony hunky tony hey <laughs> okay. However, Microsoft offers a never-before-seen number of more experiences, while generously increasing the value of every Xbox gamer's pre-owned catalog, and providing a cheaper alternative to the hardware, along with affordable cross-platform access to hundreds of games for the millions of people on a tighter budget in 2020. Therefore, the new console your boyfriend should get is both of them. So while he plays Demon Souls, you can play Connect to Disneyland Adventures with a controller. Woo! It's an Xbox Series X. Small world. It's an Xbox Series X. I should have got a PS5. <laughs> And taking the win today in Best Website Creator, we give every round to Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy to create professional websites. They have tons of beautiful templates to choose from, so your own super fancy website with full access to analytics like page views, traffic sources, and more will be up and running before you know it. To make sure your site is reaching your target audience, Squarespace uses all the best practices for search engine optimization without needing any extra plugins. In addition to setting up third-party domains, you can purchase a domain directly from Squarespace. You can also use video backgrounds to really capture people's attention, and when they're super impressed, they can leave a comment thanks to the integrated commenting system. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, check out squarespace.com slash girlfriend reviews for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. He's close. I'm cheesing it all. What? No! Are you serious? Are you serious?